Can't tell if this is even or not. I have like a fear that this tripod is just gonna collapse and it's gonna be the end of it. Hi guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I wanted to uh, do a face to face. No, I'm not doing a whole face to face. <laughs> I have accumulated many art books in the past two years now. A lot of them have been gifted to me by my lovely friend and some I just bought because I'm like, I deserve it. I worked hard this month. Let me treat myself. So before, before I get started, uh, these art books aren't really art books that teach you how to draw or any of the like learning situation art books because I don't really follow those because I don't like reading first of all I just like looking pic at pictures some of these art books are mainly just a source of inspiration for me mm, some of them will be from like franchises others will be a uh, self-proclaiming artist that managed to publish an art book congrats guys I love y'all Let's just get to the video, bro. Why am I still talking? I don't even know. I didn't know which order I'd go in with this, but we're just gonna get to it. So this is actually the first art book I've ever gotten. It is by um, Le I can't pronounce her Leia Lopez, and I've I've been a fan of her work for years. I just really was infatuated with her um, K-pop fan art and then just her style was freaking amazing and i just use this i haven't looked in it in a while but uh it'll she also talks about like make i don't know her process not too much of it but uh i like just analyzing it and just seeing like okay maybe she put this overlaying filter and whatnot and blah 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 and i just really like it and she like explains her life a little bit and i just being that being that this was my first art book i guess I, I was I was like uh, I couldn't stop looking at it for like three months straight <laughs> but you see there's like uh, twice and black pink very I really like her artwork and uh, yeah you should definitely check her out though because this is amazing like she did such a good job creating this book and it was worth all the monies all the money the next book would be the art of I can't pronounce her name either. Hekala? Hey, Hekala. I don't want to offend anyone. Anyways, um, this artist I love to death. She creates such beautiful ink illustrations, and that's, I think, she's one of my main inspirations when it comes to ink work. Um, but I just, <laughs> I, I absolutely loved this this book there's like sketches that she did and some her techniques and approaches her process and i was just her artwork is so beautifully done and the fact that she gave us like a little uh, she explained to like what tools she used and such and blah 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 and just uh i just love the when artists show their journey and like the, like what they use and whatnot. This is what I'm kind of trying to do with my, like my YouTube and my Instagram and etc. And I just, you know, it it just shows that they want to help you guys uh, or want to help um, their they want to help their um, fan base like grow as an artist or you know just because they're curious. But I really, I really, 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 really like this artist and. Uh, it's such a soft cover. <laughs> no, but seriously though, I need to look at this book again because it's been a while since I've looked at this. Now this book I got uh, this past Christmas, which is like two weeks ago. And um, thank you Cass because this was very unexpected. I was like, wait, this is just like literally a compilation of all of this person's work, Koya, Koya Mori. And Oh my god. This makes me want to work on ink illustrations. I think the many books that I get uh, deal with uh, ink illustrations in a sense. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> but her, their work is so beautifully done. 
and I'm just like how how do you even because I can't even and their line work and such I feel like I'm just like simping over all these artists in this video but I mean how can I not you know um, and I think one thing that I really enjoy about artists or looking at art books is that the like I said the inspiration that it can give you not with their, just their style but with their colors and uh, just their how they their techniques and such so I think it's really cool to have art books and I'm just gonna keep building up a collection of them until I have no more money now this one I absolutely love it was a very very late birthday present um shout out to Arjun thanks bro uh this is from Daisuke Richard <laughs> I hope I say these right because I don't know I'm not really good at speaking at any language <laughs> um this one I've always wanted and although it's not like ink they're the way they color composite and such and just the layout like you see how it's so i don't even know how to say it <laughs> it's messy but it's clean like they they manage to make this work like the clutterness is so beautifully done and i'm just like how do you do this and then there's like this, i don't know I'm, i just really love this artist so much and although they do only draw girls i don't care <laughs> It's so beautifully done. Like, bro, like the color schemes that they use is so... Ah! I really like looking back at this and just like seeing their simplicity. Yet, yeah, it's so... They make it work so well. Like, there's not a lot of shading done yet. It They, you know, just add an overlay and call it a day. Like, I don't know what they do, but they're, they're doing it right. Like, oh, man. Man, I'm... <laughs> I'm gaining inspiration. Are you guys gaining inspiration? Because, I mean... <laughs> but I also like the movement that they use. Although it's not much. You could see, like, a dynamic. Not dynamic? Is it dynamic? Stagnant? Dynamic? I don't know. But... Dang. Yes. I think they have a second art book. Which I might get in the future. But for now... I love this one. Now this is the only anime art book that I have. I saw like, I think it was either at a bookstore or at um, Anime NYCC. Anime NYCC? C? Yeah, CC. Uh, this is a Tokyo Ghoul illustration. Uh, I never finished the book, nor the anime. But I heard the, an the, the anime sucked, at least except for the first season and the second season. They scrunched it up too much. Anyways. Um... Oh, yeah, cool illustrations. I freaking love the manga artist. Like, although it is done digitally, the way they make it seem like it's done uh, kind of like oil painter like, and mm, I mean, oil painter or like ink like, I don't know. I just really like the way they, they work things. And although it's like, it can be, they make, they make it look cohesive <laughs> I forgot that this was in English I thought I could I don't know why for some reason I thought this was in Japanese I need to look at this I, ha I haven't looked in this in a while but this <sighs> come this maybe I should actually finish this manga 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 I did actually want to buy all the manga for just just to look at the covers just to collect the covers at that point <laughs> not to read because i don't like i hate reading so much even in comic book form <laughs> but like just the covers of these are so beautifully done and i just i love him um yeah all right we got a hefty boy over here we got a hefty boy this is a spider-man the art of spider-man intro to spider-verse when i saw this movie i was in love i wanted to go into animation so freaking badly until i tried out an animation class and i absolutely hated animation i'm like never mind but i am still infatuated by this artwork and the whole production team and animators who designed Miles Morales the whole movie was just so oh my gosh I am I 
the moment I found out there was an art book for this, I was like, I need to get this on my hands quickly. So that's what I did. I might have gotten this as a present as well. But um, <laughs> when I say all these bookmarks are like when I had to work on projects. So I and I had to deal with like concept art and such. So I just used like a... I didn't use. I, I bookmarked everything like with the how things are placed and the rendering of the illustrations. Um, oh my gosh. This movie was so beautifully done and I just love that they show like the storyboards and such. Is it illegal to be showing all these art books like this? <laughs> I don't even know. Anyways, um, no, but like, like, let's say for this example, I really like looking at the textures that they use and just how they manage to place everything so well. I don't really know how they did this, but I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Could I ever do this? Probably not. Would I like to do this? Definitely. But the colors they use, the textures, is just, it's really inspiring for me. And when it comes to character design, I don't really do a lot of character designs. Let's, let's be honest. I don't really draw full bodies often in my illustrations, but uh, of course I'll always be down to practice and such, but just the, the poses and everything about it was is just amazing. And it does talk about the process, not the process, but again, I don't read. <laughs> I don't, I'm not trying to sound illiterate or anything, I just, I can't, I lose interest immediately, but it, they do talk about um, things and maybe how it's, uh, the character is designed and such, but definitely this has to be one of my favorite art books. I'm saying this for literally every book that I get. Or every book that I show. This is more along the lines of the character designs. And then there's more. Oh, the designs of the rooms. Oh my gosh. The grandmother. The storyboards. Everything is just so beautifully done. The colors. Just look at this, bro. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to sleep with all my books today. You don't need no mans. You just need a lot of art books. This book is different from all the other books because it's it deals more with the designs used within uh, North Korean products, which I know it sounds in, mm, eh? but uh, when, when I show you this book, it's the just the things that they they put in this book. It's very inspiring to me, and although it may seem abnormal compared to other art books, just the the chance to see all these works done in this book is uh, pretty interesting. And the designs are very beautifully done. Whether it be simple or not, I did gain a lot of inspiration. This one I got not too long ago as a Christmas present and I've, oh, I've been wanting this for like years now. But to see this, not in the flesh, but in the flesh on a paper is uh, pretty much it, you know? And the color scheme they use, I just am really infatuated by. Infatuation is the word of the, this video. Um, no, but seriously, just the colors that they use, the layout of the, the product designs is amazing, although I don't personally although I don't personally um, do product designs because I'm not a graphic designer I'm more of an illustrator uh, just seeing this can really gain uh, give me a lot of inspiration and with the colors and layout of things um, you know every type of art thing has its own correlation with something so to see this I could definitely see uh, implement this within my work the last but not the least the thickest book i have is the art of pixar do i even need to show this bro let's be honest this thing she thick boy and the storyboards ah uh, i want to cry because this is my childhood right here but seeing this this is so nice um you can see the preliminary storyboards and just the rendering but it's not 100% there. It's just oh my god. It's so beautiful and it shows almost every I'm pretty sure every um, Pixar Movie that's been done, but uh, I haven't looked into this one too much. Maybe like once But I would definitely like to um, 
use the color schemes and such. I like to just steal other things. Not in a bad way though. Just, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> no, uh, it's okay to, you know, get inspiration and take things from others, but not in a thefty way, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay, great. Don't steal, kids. Stealing is very, very bad. Um, no, but just seeing such a loose drawing. Wow, I don't like that sound. Just seeing the loose drawings of these uh, storyboards is so inspiring. And although I don't do a lot of uh, concept art, is that the word? Or just like uh, storyboards, I haven't. I actually, I think I might be taking a storyboard class this semester, which I'm very excited for. Um, and maybe it'll invoke me to do more background work because all I ever do is do or draw persons. So person, people, whatever. So yeah. I think that is all the art books I have. Um, this video may have been pointless and I'm so sorry, but if I have encouraged you guys to whether, you know, work <laughs> by showing you these books or I helped you come up with a gift idea for your birthday or Christmas or Hanukkah, I don't know. Uh, you're welcome. I, I don't know what else to say for you, bro. Uh, make sure to give this video a like or a comment and I will see you guys later in the next video. Pew 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 pew